Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is going to be a general love message. Um, we're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, um, their next actions towards you in the immediate future, and the potential outcome. Just remember that energy is fluid, so the roles can be reversed. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And let's see, let's just get right into this. If you're coming back, thank you so much. For if you're new here, welcome. Let's see. Okay. okay, Spirit. Please show me clear and honest messages. How is Taurus's person feeling about them? Show me clearly, Spirit. How does Taurus's person feel about them? Okay, so we have the Moon card. So there could be almost like a fear of this relationship. Um, and then we just got the two of swords. Yeah. So I feel like this person is undecided about this relationship with you. Um, just because of the, these fears that are going on here with the moon card, um, it could be fear of just commitment it could be fear of this going bad um maybe you had an argument recently or something let's get into this moon card tell me about the moon card spirit for how this person feels about taurus well, so we have the four of swords and the six of pentacles yeah so i just feel like this person is currently like just in words right now contemplating whether or not to um engage in this relationship just fearful of will there be a balance in this relationship will um you know will they have to put in extra energy and extra effort into this relationship in order for it to work um or maybe they realize they are required to kind of put that extra work in um and it, it kind of scares them a little bit but we did just get the ten of cups so i feel like this yeah okay so now i'm getting it this person is fearful of the relationship because um, they, they see how fulfilling it is. They see how much um, love there is here. It's unconditional, but they realize, they do realize that it, it's going to require work from them. And I'm not saying work like you're a piece of work, Taurus. What I'm saying is like they're going to have to like be on top of their game. You know, they understand what kind of a person that you are what you bring to the table you bring this ultimate happiness for them and they it almost scares them a little bit it almost like makes them go inwards and feel like should i even engage with taurus because this is a lot like i feel like they they haven't ever experienced this before and with that two of swords there as well i feel like they're just undecided um tell me more about the two of swords spirit for how taurus's person feels about them we have um pisces energy here could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, so they're holding back right now. I just feel like they're holding back. Um, maybe they haven't even told you that they they love you or they feel so deeply about you. But with that Ten of Cups energy, it, like they, I feel like it almost is just scaring them off a little bit. Like it's almost like too good to be true. Um, let's see. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. Spirit. The six of wands. So they might even be in this position right now where they feel like too proud to say something. Like they do see you as like a prize to be won and like they feel like they want victory. Victory with you. Not a prize to be won, but you know what I mean. Like you're like a trophy. Like they, they see what you bring to the table and I feel like um, they know that being with you will, again, just require them to be on top of their game. And require them, them to put in the effort into the relationship. And I almost feel like this person isn't used to doing that. Um, it's not that they don't want to with you, it's just that they're not used to that, you know? Like maybe they've been single for a long time or maybe they were in past relationships where um, it wasn't really required of them to do like inner work or to communicate properly. Um, so so they're, they're kind of in this position now where they see this Ten of Cups with you, they feel this Ten of Cups with you, and I feel like you feel it too, um, but they're realizing, you know, this, this is... This is going to take a lot to be with Taurus just because I know I can't just be in this relationship any which way. I have to, you know, always be willing to communicate and work on things. And that's just something that they're, they're just fearful of. Um, so let's see. What will be their immediate or their actions in the immediate future? Okay, so we did get the Ten of Swords. Um, let's see. 
and the Empress. Okay, so if this if this situation has ended, if it's um, if they walked away from this just because they felt again fearful of the connection, they're feeling it. They're feeling it like they. They see you as the empress. No, it's not a male or female reading. It's it's not gender specific. It's just the energy. But they see you as abundant, as um, loving, caring, nurturing. Um, you're the top of your game, basically. And and they feel um, those just flew out weirdly. That was weird. Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, again, like they just feel like this is. They want to come forward and offer you something, um, but it, it's going to take work. It's going to take that effort to, to make this work. With that Ten of Swords energy for their immediate actions towards you, like I almost feel like this is communication about how they've been feeling, not necessarily that it's going to end. Like I feel like they've already walked away from the situation. Let's just see. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords spirit for their immediate actions. The magician, yeah, so I feel, before I say it, let me just get another one. The page of wands, yeah, so again, like I feel like they wanna come forward. Um, I feel like you are everything that they want, like they've manifested you, they've been thinking about you, you know? I don't know if you do scripting, which is basically just writing down exactly what you want in a partner and thanking the universe as if you already have it, but they might not write it down but i feel like in their mind they've been like this is the kind of woman or man that i want in my life and you are it for them um and it, again i feel like this is them being scared that they actually manifested exactly what they wanted this empress and it, they're almost fearful that it's going to end in this ten of swords energy like maybe they're not good enough for you but they definitely want to come forward with these two pages you know they see um a passionate beginning with you like they or sorry, they want to have a passionate beginning with you, but they're coming forward as a page, right? Like they're kind of like just feeling out the waters. They're not like going for it fully. Um, it might just be like a text or like a call or like a, hey, how's it going? Um, when really they're like, Taurus is my 10 of cups, like I, my empress, my, you know, I want them. Um, tell me more about this 10 of swords spirit for their actions. Oh. <laughs> The Emperor, what did I just tell you? Like they want to be with you. This is like a divine connection. If you feel like this is your soulmate, I see why. Because look at this, like this is how they feel. Like they feel like you're the perfect match. This is divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Like you can't get any higher than that, right? Like the kings and queens of the deck are matches, but this is like, okay. So what I'm getting is I feel like they have gone through some stuff prior to you even or maybe it wasn't you yeah prior to you that's what I'm feeling and it, it it's done a number on them in the sense that you know they they haven't fully healed from this this heartbreak this betrayal that they've experienced before and they're worried that that might happen with you and because they see you as the empress again not gender specific they see you as abundant as everything that they've ever wished for um, they want to be that match with you but it's almost like scaring them a little bit. Like they want to come forward as this energy, but it, with that moon energy, like they, they right now they feel, they feel scared. But I mean, this I asked, what are their immediate actions? So for these two to come out, it's like they're gonna step into their emperor energy again. It's just the masculine energy of taking charge and saying what you want and and you know. Um, just exactly that just just saying exactly how they feel and you know coming forward and being like you're mine Taurus you are mine um wow that emperor flipped out oh and we got the lovers at the bottom of the deck the energy right now like I just feel I feel like Taurus you might be waiting and you might even feel like this person has walked away and you're like it's done like what are you talking about? I haven't heard from them, but like I'm telling you, like the immediate I, immediate future, immediate actions, they're they're coming forward. They're gonna kind of like play it cool, like, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, like, sorry, I haven't messaged you or whatever. Um, but I almost feel like it's because they've been working on themselves a little bit and working on like how they're gonna come forward. Wow. Okay, what is the potential outcome between Taurus and their person, Spirit? What is the potential outcome between Taurus and their person? Thank you for the messages so far, Spirit. What is the potential outcome? 
I do feel like there has been hurt here with the ten of um, <laughs> potential outcome, Taurus. As I'm talking about potential, the potential hurt with the ten of swords, the, the ten of pentacles jumps out because it's like you know what I think. I feel like you can both be like, yeah, we we went through something, or even again, maybe it's their past or your past where you feel like um, it really like. It, you know, we all have trauma. We've all been through bad relationships or um, partnerships or whatever. And um, that betrayal is kind of still lingering there a little bit, but everyone, if you, if you put in the work to heal, you can, you can overcome anything, right? Um, and again, with that magician energy, I feel like it's like thoughts become things, like whatever energy you're putting out there, you're gonna get back. So if you are putting out the energy that this person is gonna come back and you guys are gonna work it out and figure it out, that's exactly what it looks like it's gonna happen, right? Also, I just have to say you have, ten, you have three tens on the board here, right? I feel like this person knew what they felt with you, this unconditional, pure love, it ended, or they're still holding on to an ending from before, trying to heal that, but this is what they see with you. They see this Ten of Pentacles. They see this family, whatever that means for you. They see this stability. They see this this happy ending, this um, you know abundance, this building together, building a life together, building financial stability together, traveling the world. Like That's what I'm hearing, like just abundance, you know? Tell me more about the potential outcome between Taurus and this person. Taurus, this is making me so happy. Also, make sure to check out your sun, moon. Um, I usually just do sun and moon signs, but I know you can check out your Venus and your rising as well. But if you don't know your moon, I'm going to post the link down below for how to figure out your moon sign. Because your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. So make sure you watch both. But tell, okay, sorry, Spirit. I'm just too busy talking. Tell me more about the potential outcome between Taurus and this person. Yeah, they're not letting go. They're not gonna let you go here. I'm telling you, like they can't. Like this is like too divine. This is like a soulmate divine connection. They're not gonna let this go, I'm telling you. Um, if you feel like this person has let go, they're coming back. <laughs> they're not going to let this go. Tell me more about the potential outcome between Taurus and this person. The tower, it's gonna come out as a surprise. I'm telling you, they're gonna come out of nowhere. You you feel like they're done. You feel like they've moved on. Maybe even they, you feel like it's ended, it's over. But this person knows what they felt with you. This 10 of cups, emperor, empress energy. Sorry, I just held that up so weird. And they see the 10 of pentacles with you. They're, they're holding on to this. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about the tower. Tell me more about the tower. Whoa, I hope that was caught on camera. Okay, so the Seven of Cups. So yeah, like they're, they're again, it's back to that Two of Swords energy. You're like kind of confused. Maybe they feel like you've moved on too, you know? They're like, what's it? Or like they feel like you have options. Um, maybe you feel like they have options, but they want to move to calmer waters with you. They want to move to a place of like peace with you. Um, this person could also be at a distance. Like maybe you don't live so close to one another. Tell me more about the potential outcome, the Tower of Spirit. Page Cups. Apology, coming back. I'm sorry. Hey, what's up? How's it going? I'm sorry. I've been a ghost. Here's what's been going on with me. I just want to be honest. We don't have, you know, a lot of swords here about chatting, like saying about this. This is okay. Let me just see. Let me just see if like the Ace of Swords or something comes out where they're actually going to communicate because I feel like their feelings are all there. The energy is all there, but maybe they're just not saying it yet. Okay, so we do have the Five of Cups. Yeah, this this person might have the tendency to kind of focus on the bad that's already happened, that Ten of Swords energy again, or like just feeling confused, um, not not looking at the potential of the, of the match as opposed to what's already happened. Or they might be one of those people that's like, oh, you know, when Taurus and I had that argument, like it's probably gonna always be like that when we have that argument. I don't wanna be in something like that. So I'm just gonna pull away altogether. But what they feel for you is like divine. Like it's, it's you know, it's real. Um, tell me more about the potential outcome. King Cups. Deep love here. Deep love. I feel like this is mutual too. I feel like you both feel this way about each other. Like just a deep emotional connection with this person. Um, again, there's not a lot. I'm waiting for a sword to come out to tell me that they're actually gonna say it. Um, nine of wands. They're still guarded. And again, this could be you. They're still a little bit guarded. I, I can't, I feel like it's just, it's not you. It's, and I know that's, it's not you, it's me, but it's not 
anything that you've done, I feel like they are just fearful of how strongly they feel about this connection. But they do want this. I feel like the, the, the uh, Ten of Pentacles is there for a reason. This is the potential outcome. For, this is the very first card that came out. This is the potential outcome for you. But I feel like this relationship is going to take work. like, And any relationship does at the end of the day. But it's just going to take kind of helping this person through their moments of feeling kind of, sh you know, shitty and, and kind of looking at the bad only. You kind of have to... I mean, you don't have to, but if you were to engage with this person and you move forward with them, I feel like the feelings are all there. How they feel about you is not a matter of it. It's just them kind of like, I, I don't see the eight of swords here, but I'm getting eight of swords energy of like them kind of just being in like their own head about it. Like not, you know, they're, they just keep going back, back and forth almost. Two of cups and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, like they, like again, soulmate connection divine connection like they want to come together with you this is a potential outcome you know nurturing the connection like stability um wanting to put in the effort you know st i feel like stability is really important for this person so if there was some sort of like argument or something in the past it might have shaken them up a little bit and scared them off but at the end of the day the way they feel about you hasn't changed they love you i don't okay I don't want to use that word if it's not been used yet, but the love, there's deep love here. If they haven't said it yet, they definitely feel it. Okay, let's just see. I'm just curious. How does Taurus feel about this person? How does Taurus feel about their person? So maybe you're up at night thinking about this. Like, has this person moved on? Because I feel like you feel it too. I feel like you feel like, like, how do they not see that we are the emperor and the, the empress together? But they do. But it's kind of keeping you up at night. It's kind of making you feel like, have they moved on? What are they doing? You know, I haven't heard from them. Again, take it as it resonates. It could be the other way around. But you want to move forward with them. You want forward movement with them. You want, you want, you want this too. You want this Ten of Pentacles energy. And didn't we just get the Queen of Pentacles out here? I'm telling you, match. Match, match, match. All the matches are here. Again, stability is super important. I feel like you even see, maybe this person's even like an entrepreneur. They have their own business. They're just, they're doing well financially or they have the potential to, and you want to grow with them. They want the exact same thing. Like, every, like I feel like you guys mirror each other almost with the two of cups, the king and queen of pentacles, the emperor, the empress, you know, like all the tens are here. Well, the 10 of wands isn't here, but you know, three of the tens. Okay. Let's just see what any angel answers spirit thank you for the message so far any messages for taurus regarding the situation with their person get more information and improving health okay so again i feel like if this person is that has the tendency to kind of go in their own head and only think about the bad, that five of cups energy, I feel like um, they're, they're working on it right now. Again, like I said, like they know that this, this connection requires work and it's not work like, oh, this is so much. It's just, they realize they can't keep doing the same things that they've been doing in, pri in prior connections or just in general. Um, tell me more spirit about this connection that Taurus has with this person. Oh. Okay, we got yes and perfect timing. And then we also got big happy changes and no. Okay, so this is interesting. The yes is with the exclamation mark, the no is with not. Again, I feel like it's it's almost one of those things where it's like it could go either way because when we have the potential outcome, there's the ten of pentacles, the, the not holding, um, not letting go, the two of cups there, but then there's also this wounded warrior guardedness um you know the, the five of cups kind of ruminating on the past or or wondering how it's always going to go bad so it's like th there's both energies here of like yes this is it this is the soulmate connection that i've been waiting for um but then there's also this like no maybe it's not m maybe it's too much you know what i mean like i i do feel like this person's coming back though so maybe it's it's going to be left in your hands like what are you going to do but perfect timing i feel like this is divine timing like you guys met when you were supposed to but sometimes you meet the right person at the wrong time um let's also see what comes out for this deck i'm just curious spirit any messages for taurus 
regarding this situation with the person. Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. So again, I feel like this goes back to like, what's the bigger picture between the two of you? If there was an argument that happened, like I feel like this person needs to get out of their, their energy of like focusing focusing in on only the bad or like what if that what if it's always like that with Taurus or or whatever or like you know I experienced this before I don't want to go through this again um it's the big picture thinking but also on your end too I feel like if, it, if this is if this is a time of separation right now which I feel like it is um the, the separation is serving a purpose and I feel like it's for this person to improve their health to their mental health you know maybe even their physical health too but just get back to a space where they can come come towards you in that emperor or empress energy spirit any messages for taurus regarding this connection with the person take time to breathe out so again this could be you and them just take take this so separation is so hard especially if you've met that person and you have this ten of cups with them you have this like happiness you feel it you're you're divinely connected and then when you have to separate it's almost like because you need to take that time to breathe out to recuperate to come back as your best you know and i feel like this person wants to do that they want to come to you as their best because maybe they felt like they met you and they didn't even realize it was going to go like this they didn't even know it was gonna um just kind of again look at the bigger picture you can't make this up big picture thinking Look at the bigger picture, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Always, always, always giving us exactly what we need. Yeah, so again, it's just like, like if this is a time of separation, look at it like a blip in, in, in your relationship with this person. Like say if you're separated for six months, it's like, okay, but then you end up being together for 30 years, 40 years for the rest of your life until you guys both grow old together, right? And then you also got, don't let your, don't let your past hold you back. This is exactly what I was saying. So I don't know who or maybe both of you have gone through something like this this ten of swords energy this ultimate betrayal and at times it holds you back or it holds this person back from fully connecting into this relationship um i just i, I can't even believe you guys see me shuffle you see me shuffle this when spirit does this it just makes me so happy and this energy i have to say when i'm feeling this energy like it feels really good it feels like exciting it feels like there's so much potential it feels like um it, it's just a time of recuperation right now it feels like um again this person's doing what they need to do in order to come back as their best i think that's it for the cards let's just you know what i'm just gonna spirit can you tell me can you give me a few more cards for the potential outcome for this connection from this deck Six of Wands, Victory, Page of Wands again, coming forward with an offer, Page of Wands again, Justice, Balance, Balance, wanting to balance the situation, the Hierophant, higher level of commitment, Ace of Swords, there's that communication, and the Magician again. Pay attention to your thoughts, uh, Taurus. Pay attention to if you script. Scripting is so powerful, so, so powerful. If you don't know about the 369 method, the Nikola Tesla method for manifestation, look up the 369 method too. I'm gonna post a link down below actually. Um, your thoughts become things. Whatever energy you put out there is, is gonna come back to you. And this person wants victory with you. They want to do this with you. So if you're putting in the into the energy of this person's coming back, we're gonna be together, we're gonna make this work, then so be, so be it. Ask and you shall receive, right? Okay, Taurus, that's what I have for you. I hope something resonated. If so, please like, share, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your wonderful energy. This was a beautiful reading and love and light.